All right, welcome back to the Rogers Center as we close out this three-game series against the Cincinnati Reds. They got their fourth victory against us in the previous matchup. We got our fourth loss in the previous matchup. So, winner takes the series, but you can see how things played out. We won 7-4, to four. then yesterday's game we lost 3-2, to two, and we call on our number two pitcher, Alec Manoa. As a matter of fact, he is the only player you will see in this. But I'm focusing on the pitcher in this one. Hmm. As we are in first place in the AL East still, 7-4 and four record, still very early. We're barely, we're not even 10% of the way through the season. As Manoa will give up a single to the very first batter he faces, that is Eliezer Alfonso. Tyler Stephenson on deck, but we ain't going to worry about him in, in a, until about a minute from now. So, back-to-back -back base runners as Alec Manoa. It's already 22 pitches in, full count. Fly ball to right as Hernandez. Looks like he's going to make the catch, but will they tag up at second? They will. Go back into Bichette. And Bichette actually throws it to third. Dury L. Jr. is playing third today. Listen, I don't really have that much depth, so I got to do what I got to do. All right. They carry four lefties, two switch hitters, and three righties. That being Alfonso, Rivas, Stephenson, Aquino, Naquin, Peralta, McLean. And I lost track of who else is there. And what do you know? Aristides Aquino was part of the Desert Venom series last year. Don't worry, I'm not going to trade for him this year as the strikeout probably proves why I shouldn't. All right, Tyler Naquin. One of the guys I forgot to mention in. Manoa gets out of the inning despite the bases loaded. And fun fact, 40 pitches and he did not give up a run. I don't know if that's a record, but hey. So I throw it out there. Two hits for them, and we come up the bat pretty soon. Can we get him some run support? Against Nick Lodolo, who through 10 innings has an 0-1 record. Five strikeouts, four walks, eight hits given up, that being a 1.21 whip. Oh, look, David Peralta. It's like Cincinnati wants to be Arizona. And that will be the show 21 as Manoa will get a one pitch out. And believe me, he's going to need it. Gonna need it. Can't keep throwing 40 pitches in and expect to be out there very long. Fraley swings and misses at a slider inside. Not very hard throwing. There's a lot of guys that are throwing sliders upwards of 85, 90, 92 miles an hour. As Callahan hits this one to right field, Hernandez catching it on the run and we'll get through two. Pushing forward here in the third, we get some more run support. Three runs in total for the Toronto offense is Bichette. Oh my god. Dude, you need to go work on your throwing. This is ridiculous. It's like his fifth error of the season. We're not even 20 games in. Steal from first. Jansen throws the second. Oh, he's got him. Yet another base runner thrown out by Danny Jansen. Take a look at that. He had a pretty good jump, but you're not going to beat the rocket arm of Danny Jansen. Rivas, 1-2. And he's going to slice it into left field as it gets underneath Bichette's glove for a single. Now, but I will admit, you know, Cincinnati's got a decent team. As this ball's going to get hit the right field. Like, they got a decent team. They don't have any superstars. India is good, but they need more than him if they want to, you know, do anything now they were in the divisional hunt all season last year for a team that wasn't very good as Espinal playing second can't get to it and neither can Springer dude how did you was that ball hit that badly that you were unable to get to it and he is going to end up with a triple I was going to say Jansen throw him out that was Alejandro Kirk I thought ooh inside sinker no match for the batter as he will be upset, but there's nothing you can do about it, bro. We don't have robo umps. We don't have robo umps, man. What you want us to do? All right, Jake Hager stepping up to the plate. Manoa pushing 90 pitches. Yeah, hey, it's going to get a ground out from one to three. Runner will advance the third as Cincinnati looks to get on the board. They are 90 feet away from a run. He's 
Eliezer Alfonso not batting too well. Don't expect the bunt with two outs. Yes, this ball is going to be a looper to right. The sinker is going to end up in his glove. Alec Manoa gets through five. Rivas has, has put up two hits, and he looks like he's going to get a third. This one is going to be a slider hit to right center field. It's going to bounce. Hernandez gets it back in to a cutoff man. And that is his third hit this ball game. Manoa pushing through. Slider hung up there a bit, but it's going to be caught ball to Springer. And the runner from second is not going to advance. 95 pitches. Bro, how long are we going to pitch him? I don't think Manoa really cares. Especially considering he's doing a shutout right now. All right, Aquino, 1 2, can drive in a run if he can get something. Down on grass, he's not going to be able to do so. 101 pitches for Alec Manoa. And a slider. Big time, big time pitch for a big time pitcher. We'll call on Seth Elledge to get through this inning as Tyler Neeklin steps up. 3 2. And oh, that pitch is way off the mark, bro. Come on, you have plenty of time to warm up. Get it together. A one pitch, gonna get hit high and deep to right. Hernandez chasing it down, is gonna make the catch going, backpedaling a little bit. Preserving the shutout as a runner is thrown out at the plate and we get one more across, four to nothing. Now six to nothing, two run shot by Hernandez. As we look to finish this off, Nate Pearson, curveball in the dirt, doesn't matter. We take the victory six to one. All right. Subscribe if you haven't already done so, because I do a, I do live stream at least once a week. Also, click on any other videos you like that you see on this channel. Peace out.